Hi everyone, Mark here at Rapid Response and Vengeance Apparatus. And today our vehicle showcase is this brand new super single lifted uh, sandstorm brush truck, which was built for uh, accident fire department. The dealer is Atlantic. We thank Atlantic for uh, taking care of the customer and uh, keeping that uh, relationship uh, very well. So we're gonna start here at the front of the truck. This is an F550 is what this is. We have the buck stop lift kit on it. So what that does for us is it gives us the bumper, it gives us the lift kit, the super single tires as well. We did have the bumper and the fender flares coated with a PPC material. That's like a bed liner material, but it has a UV protecting material in it. So it stays nice and clean like this at all times. Just standard soap and water is all you need to, to clean it and wash it. We have summit sticks up front. Right now we're in position three. Slider switch position three. Uh, I have the nighttime mode off. Uh, it will automatically dim. Um, and inside here, it would automatically dim. The photo cell does not recognize LED lighting uh, as daytime lighting. So I forced it to high power, which you can do with a button on the control panel. The summit sticks were flashing the red whites in it. Down here, we have grommet mounted ions beside the winch cable. This is a super winch cable with uh, the uh, nylon type rope material. In the side holes here, we have the FireTech uh, high-vis warning light, but it's just in red. And then we have a spotlight uh, driving light down here, which we can make those go in steady burn, or we're bursting them in a, in a pattern back and forth right now as a wigwag pattern in the light mode. As we move around to the side, you'll see an, M an M2 light here in the front fender. This is custom color coded for the customer. We did paint this vehicle in house in our own paint booth. So we have their lower color uh, red, white chassis color top on the white. We have the light bar up top flashing in a, in a white burst mode along with red. We can also change that in the slider too. We'll, we'll take this truck down to red warning. Along the side, we have T-ions mounted on the, on the, the uh, side steps. The side steps are custom fabricated and made by us here at Vengeant. Um, so this is a grip strut material with a diamond plate uh, tread material on the outside. So it lowers it a little bit so you can get into the truck a lot easier, but it gives you safety as you're getting in and out. We have Technique lights underneath the truck. The whole way around underneath it, those are the E10 series uh, ground lighting. All our graphics are done here in house at our graphics department called Market Graphics. So everything is done in house. As we go to the back, we have our uh, patented bed rail. It is our patented bed rail because it is an extrusion uh, designed by us, specifically for us. And we can mount our lighting. It's recessed into the rail. It's, in some applications, you can use the hook underneath if you want to run straps over top if you're maybe uh, carrying other equipment. And there's also a wire channel track on the back side, which is like the front side that's recessed. So our wiring does not come down the frame rail and dog leg out at each light head. Our, light, our wiring comes in the front frame rail, and it goes on the inside of the frame rail the whole way around the truck making our wiring extremely secure, built into our channel itself. All the toolboxes that you see are made here in-house of engine apparatus as well. They have unit shred on the side, so the, so the shelving and the, shelving, the, the units with the shelving, they can slide up and down. They are a compression latch, so they get tighter when you close the door. So when you, when you close it and you turn it and you lock it, it pulls it in. We have 200 feet of three quarter inch hose. Uh, this is this is the hard hose, so that way you don't have to pull it all off um, to pressurize it with a uh, electric rewind cord reel. Our wheel chalk is here in the back, custom mud flaps to protect debris from flying up. Strip light series here in the back rub rail to give some lower warning in the back. The light bar is still visible at a distance, but this gives some Warning here at a lower angle in the back. We have uh, our Riptide skid tank, which is a 300 gallon of water with all your discharges. 
This is the Pioneer uh, Slim Series uh, scene light out the back. So it gives us really nice scene lighting out the back here. And then we have the, the Whelan Nanos and the six lamp version black housing that light up uh, this pump air area very nice as well. This is a compartment for hard sleeves and other tools. It's an under bed compartment. It slides the whole way up through the center. We have pull out steps here that you can pull these steps out, lock them in. So if you do need to get up top, you do have that ability. We give you that step to get to uh, be able to get up top. Trailer plug there, some tow hooks as well in the back. These are uh, Technique brake tail turns and reverse lights here. Going to go on the inside, show you some function on the inside, and uh, we'll finish it up. Okay, on the inside of the vehicle, we have a fire extinguisher bracket that we made here for the customer. Out of aluminum, they can just pull it, pull it right out the side. We have brackets for two survivor flashlights there as well that are mounted on a uh, custom powder coated plate. And then up front, we have our custom-made console. Our consoles are made out of a uh, maple wood material and then bed liner coated, uh, armrest, cup holders, customer supplied radio, the wheel and core controller as well. This unit is operated with wheel and core. Rosco backup camera up top, as you can see. I did uh, change and I did put the scene lights on. So I just have all scene lights on right now. So we have the scene lights here. We do have the summit bar here. Uh, Center lights there are red flashing, so we do have some red flashing even higher here on the side. All our scene lights out the back, and if you want to walk around front, we'll show you the scene lights out front. So this truck has very good 360 visibility of scene lights the whole way around it um, at nighttime, and it has a, a uh, ton out the front. So we have a... I'm going to turn the scene lights off. When I did that one there, that's a double press button. I pushed it the second time. It added the center up here in the front. The reason why we do that is, is if you don't want the center on and lose your warning in the light bar pattern, you can still have warning going in the center of the bar as well. So there's slider position three. Here's slider position two. And then slider position one is used for basically like if you're in the field off the side of the road, you don't want to be blinding a lot, you know, people with the lower, with this other lighting. Um, it just gives us four corner module flash and some other various uh, side lighting around the side of the vehicle. Hope everybody liked this uh, project that we did. Um, again, we thank Atlantic, we thank Accident, the customer, and uh, if you have any questions, like what you see, would like to see any other um, builds, um, we build vehicles for all over the world. We'd be more than happy to do that for you. Please check us out at vengeantapparatus.com and 911rapidresponse.com. Thanks, everybody, and thanks for watching.